there's this same-sex couple from New Zealand named Kat and Taryn and they've been together for a couple years now. And two ladies? Two ladies, same-sex couple. <laughs> well, it could have been guys. could have been two dudes. No, but then I said, okay, true. Cat okay. and Terry, that could be. Terry. Tiff, I'm with you, dude. Okay. <laughs> That's why, okay. It could have been Catholomew and Terrenkel. What? Those were the longer names, but you just call them Cat. Carol. Anyway, yep. moving on. So Cat and Taryn, they had been dating for a couple years and they wanted to have a baby together. And that's when they looked into getting a sperm donor. And they knew that they wanted to... Um, have an Asian baby? No, so... Be, what? <laughs> it took me a second to... They, want, they, they knew they wanted to have an Asian baby? Oh, baby. I don't know that. Oh. I, don't, I don't know that information, but probably. So, they... Because they're both trying, right? They decided that... They will try until one of them gets pregnant. Oh, and then cool. they stop. It's like a game. Because you don't know, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Right. Oh wait, but let me... Go That's back a little a bit. So they found a sperm donor online because the fertility clinic one, it would take a really long time. So they found one and then they got some like insemination tools or whatever. A random dude jacked off into a cup. I don't and know. And then they bought the cup. No, she, one girl got the straw and then she, they got the cup and it went. And then they put it on the pussy <laughs> like that. No, oh, it was via Facebook. Out. That's how they found the donor. Oh, so really? Well, maybe they looked at his profile. They're like, he's pretty tall. You know, he so might be a yeah. He's Harvard educated. I didn't know you could like just buy sperm like that. You could buy anything online now. Maybe his profile sells. So they have to be like cleared. Maybe his uh, profile says sells cum on the side. Perfect. That's a hard thing to ask someone. What for know. their sperm? Can I have your cum? It's pretty easy, dude. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys <laughs> will give up their cum. Yeah, it is. But I think from the other part. Cause this is like legal shit. For sure, you would need a contract yeah. Yeah. to be like, I'll give you my sperm, but I want nothing to do oh, with it. Oh, I thought you, I thought you meant the delivery part. I'm like, it's so easy. Uh, just need a styrofoam box with ice cubes. <laughs> oh, I knew, um, I knew uh, from back in the Bay, there was this uh, gay couple and then they had, so she asked her brother, so it'd be still related. You know, like you get a random sperm, right? it's not related to the- Would it be her egg? Yeah. So she, Isn't her brother- incest? No, her brother yeah, had sex with her girlfriend. And got her pregnant. Wait, they, he had sex sex? Did he just do this with the insemination stuff? Maybe they wanted an organic baby. They just had it easier. It was just, it wasn't also like these are hood people. Um, so not, they're white though, so. White hood. They just, it was just easier to do like that. You think he jacked off until he got really close and he stuck it in last second? So oh, yeah, they didn't like have too much No sex. passion? I mean, might as well. Damn. Add a little bit of passion. Okay, so. So you think they, oral was off limits? Or do you think they did it? He is a kid in here, you can't talk about this. Oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> We have underage here. He's probably fell asleep. I love that they can't see the cat, so it just sounded like... No, they can okay. see the cat. Yeah. It's just like his little face. <laughs> it's we funny because they can't like, the cat like this. Because it would have been cool if they did it, and then Joe just told uh, mm -hmm, the deep sorry, oh. baby. <laughs> It's a baby. There's an underage kid in here. We have to be kid. good. Anyway, uh, one of the girls... So Taryn went in first in, back in February, and that was kind of like a trial run. And uh, to like, like see how all the whole process happens, and it didn't work. So then, two weeks after Taryn tried, that's when Cat went in, and then everything went well. And then she had two inseminations during that cycle. And then two weeks later, that's when Taryn tried. Mm -hmm. But then they found out that Cat was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And then a week later, to that day, they find out that she was pregnant oh, too. Why did they wait too oh, long? Babies. Cause I guess they were- That's pretty awesome. Pregnant. So they're gonna be double pregnancies. Yes. They're gonna fight so hard. They're both gonna be pregnant at the same time. I know, I was thinking about that. I'm like, How they they're both pregnant. They're both gonna be fighting over resources. Yeah. What like, you it? take care of me, no, you take care of me. And they're both throwing up because oh, it's the mo morning sickness sickness. Oh, it's like two no. drunk people. You have one person take yeah. care of the other person. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't that crazy. <laughs> you made it seem like it was crazy. Like Fuck off. You made it seem like you really need my help. <laughs> <laughs> There, yeah. There's countries where like the, the the pregnant lady help each other and stay together. Which yeah. country is this? I have no idea. But I remember seeing. It. Isn't it like Sweden or some shit? Like one of those so. Scandinavian. It countries. feels better going through it with, with someone. Like they all they all live like in a fucking hut. Hmm? Not a hut. I'm just kidding. But they have like a, a facility. Hut. Yeah. yeah. They all live at I IKEA. That's somewhere in like some other countries yeah. where like if there's like in the family and stuff they would like. Uh, stick around each other, help each other. Yeah, out. that so, only makes sense. That's why it's nice to have a big family, but then it sucks when all of them have something to say. 
about your career. <laughs> All right, so here's Kat and Taryn. I just want the help, I don't want the comments. Yeah, I know. Everyone got something to say about your career, your life, and all that shit, but they'll help out with the baby. I'm down, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth it. They're both yeah, pregnant. Ladies. Yeah. That's awesome. I wish you could have been pregnant with me. You know what's crazy? I wish two. I wish two out of one. I know, but I wish. Left picture looks like a Siamese twin. <laughs> It's like a two-headed two lady, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now they're both gonna have like the That's fun. awesome. And then they're hoping <laughs> that they give birth um, kind of close, but not too close, because they want the babies to have the same sleeping schedule. So it's like almost like having twins. That's so cute, man. It's not gonna be like a, a week or two apart, right? Or three weeks? I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Double modders. Yeah, you never know. Do. They could come early, they could come late. When the, If they give, like, if they, uh, birth the babies around the same time. They should mix up the babies so you don't know which one's which. Oh. So then you don't have too much of a connection with one, you know? You're not oh, like, oh, that one's my idea. kid. But that's that only works if they're born like back to back. Like mm. the same day or some shit. I mean, like, they're only like a week apart. That's a, that's a high chance, right? No, because <laughs> I, I love it, work. obviously. Right? <laughs> that means that their birth schedule <laughs> maybe is like a week apart, right? Yeah, what you're saying is the mom doesn't get to see the kid at all exactly. until the second one's born. Yeah. Yeah. Hide him, hide him away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that, no, that's no. not gonna work, man. They need a titty. And then they only share one birthday after. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, that won't work. I will claw my way to my child. Oh. There's no way you're hiding him from me. Well, then you don't take this plan. Let them have my plan. It wouldn't be that hard to hide a baby for me. There's no way you would give it, give me the baby back. Like if I met my kid and then you give me another, like I could tell my kid from. You don't have to take my plan. They can take my plan. They won't, and I'm telling you why. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know. Is there more to the story? That's it. It's a fucking remarkable story. But that's like you just kind of pump the brakes a little bit. I feel like they kind of wanted it because it's like okay. True, true. Maybe because you want to space it out a little bit more, yeah, yeah. which is like okay, we're gonna inseminate you. Okay, cool. Just to double our chances to make sure it happens. Maybe they were meeting their window. Like they they look older too. Maybe they were like, fuck. What if you can't have kids anymore? Or I can't have it. Let's just let's just hit it hard. Yeah, yeah that's Extreme. actually. So that had to be a possibility. I don't think that when they both got pregnant, they're like holy shit. How do you think they got pregnant? Never. Just uh, they inseminate turkey baster. Well, they do like that or they. the same. Uh, Same sperm donor too, so oh, both cool, kids are oh, gonna cool. be biologically related. Oh, it's so cool. Cause I want to know what the home kit is for self-pregnancy. I don't think it's a home kit. Yeah, cause they said the way she worded it is, I went in. No, let them believe it's a home like. Kit. Oh yeah, it's oh. a home kit. So then, that's what I heard too. Yeah, I thought you said it was like yeah. a kit that they got. The way she worded it was, uh, try like how to use the insemination tools and what tools to use. But she does say I went in first. Like I don't know. I don't know. How I think they fertilize the egg and then they put it back. I believe that's the way. Oh yeah, through like IVF, but like no, this doesn't sound like IVF, yeah, dude. Think... That sounds like cream pie. It does. And then they found a guy off Facebook. Yep. True. Yeah, because there was a two-year waiting list for a sperm donor at a fertil fertility. Clinic. Yeah, I feel yeah, like if you go to fertility were... clinics, you have to use their resources. Yeah, right? they were racing against time. Sounds like they're saying that their doctor said that they were more likely to win the lottery than to both fall pregnant at the same time. Whoa. Well, it's actually Wait, pretty hard to get pregnant then, huh? Well, on average, it takes you about six months of trying. Wow! Yeah. So you could cream pie for six months straight and still not get pregnant? Let's yeah. not try that, though. What? You don't want random, to have sex for six months? About, like random, what? random teenagers watching this. Yeah. You know, we could just have sex for like six months and then stop. Yeah. I mean, go do it. No, no, no. I say go do it, but oh. let me tell you, your life is fucking over. It's over. The kid is like taking it all. They, they, they even suck the energy and youth out of you. They just do. Just Look at me. It's over for like the first decade. Ten and years? then you got your life back. Because well, I got my life back. So it took 10 years and after that it, it relaxed? Hell yeah. I mean, well, it's I feel like you're about to stress. enter another storm. Though. That's the thing. It's a different kind of stress. Where like teenager stress, yeah. so all of it sucks, is what you're saying. Pretty much. <laughs> but I've, I've met some moms at our pediatric clinic, and then the mom was telling me like, honestly, the hardest part is the beginning. It's like later on they do get all emo and they kind of don't want to be around you and all that. But he was like, but you can just go, okay, go to your room, close the door. That's what I'm saying. Like it's a different kind of thing because yeah. because it is like a stress. Like if you don't heavy watch him for now, he could stress. die. You know. He, yeah. could, he could run into something, jump in the pool, do whatever. Like You have to keep your eyes on him. Yeah, right. So it's like more physically exhausting when they're younger. But yeah. when they're can't older, it's more mentally so and emotionally exhausting. Kids in cages? Yeah, yeah you can't get a I cage. Like you should try it. I mean, if it's colorful, it'll be cute. They call them play pens. Oh. Yeah, right? That's a cake. I like kids in cages better. Kids in a cage. <laughs> you should make your own playpen <laughs> line. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just a kid in a cage. Huh? Yeah. 
Don't sell it to Hispanic families, then it's gonna be a whole problem. Oh, oh. fuck. Oh. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Too, 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 too real. Too, too real. real. <laughs> too real. But if I made it like rainbow colors, like the bars, no like more. Blue, green. <laughs> I think it would change. Nope. And then there's like a little merry-go-round inside. It's too real, guys. It became too okay, okay. real. You could sell one. Let's look at the kitty. Look at him. He's cute. You know what'll work, guys? Yeah, what'll work? What will work? Let's make a fire perimeter around the kids. <laughs> They'll never go through it. Cause we're already like fire's danger, and the no. kid's not gonna walk. For kids through. like that, there's only two natural fears. I guess it's uh, <laughs> falling, and then I forgot what the other one was. What? Fire. <laughs> Wait, it was two. a fire. You're it was two. two. You're born. You're only born with two natural fears. Really? Oh, clowns, falling. clowns, and fire. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I just made a loud noise, they would cry. What? I don't know. Let me Google this. Say, so look at two. I, I believe Human one falling, fear. and then there's one more. Well, what can you do where you can take a break? And there's a perimeter around the child, and it's safe. And I oh, the only time I could do that is when you're falling and loud sounds. So they have to learn to be scared of fire and yeah. everything else. Well, I think well, yeah. you learn that from you touching. Just touch it. Oh, right. Yeah. Hot stove. We all have that. If you didn't burn a finger or something, and then you're running cold water, and your mom's yelling at you while that shit, you're crying Tyke like a motherfucker. You never had a childhood. Yep, Tyke already got it. Really? You're like ah. Ah, and your mom's like, I told you, don't touch it, right? Yeah, it sounds like you were there. Yeah. <laughs>